What's up guys, we're back with Navy Jobs, second edition of Navy Corman, the best medical enlisted across all branches. You know, we're not bragging, but uh, there's like 30 plus specialties, so I thought I'd break each one down for you, at least give you a brief, uh, you know, what they are. If in the name, it's very um, obvious what they do, I'm probably not gonna go into depth with it, but for some of them, I'll talk about them a little and we'll go through the list. And you can see if you become a corpsman, what you can branch off to if you're interested in that. <clears throat> so first we got search and rescue tech. This is special warfare. These are the dudes that are on the helicopters going and saving people's life and keeping them alive on the way to the hospital. It's basically like an advanced paramedic. Subforce IDCs. Now independent duty corpsman, you'll hear this a lot, IDCs are like PAs, they, they're, they're providers, right? So it's a step above corpsman, um, below, I don't know how to explain this. They're like the mid-level, right? So corpsman, IDC, like doctor, right? Like mid-level. If you're subforce, so when you become an IDC, you can either go special warfare, FMF, uh, surface, or sub. And sub, you have to volunteer for because you're gonna be obviously underwater, you could go crazy. Some of them are into it, and also the incentive pay, you're probably gonna pick up real easy if you pick this. But no one picks it, because you gotta be crazy and not have a family. Um, FMF Recon IDC. Now, if you go with the Marines, which tons of corpsmen do, you can try out for Marine Special Forces, which is their reconnaissance, right? If you become an FMF Recon corpsman, you go through the Marine Con Recon Reconnaissance course, and then you get to go through all the specialty medicine, and basically be super badass dude out of all the corpsmen. Field Med Tech, which is your FMF corpsman, uh, that's what I am. Uh, pretty much all means is how to treat casualties out in the field and it's uh, a little bit more advanced emergency medicine but not like search and rescue or recon. It's, it's not at that level. <clears throat> Aero medicine technician, aviation. Radiation health technician, x-ray, CV tech. Aero physics tech, which is like a uh, branch off of ABT. Biomed tech, now even though it has med in the name, it's not actually dealing with medicine. I mean, it kind of is. If you're a biomed tech, which makes tons of money on the outside, you guys should look it up if you want this specialty. But you're basically going around the hospitals and you're like an engineer mechanic for all the equipment. So like, you know, vitals, machines, anything like electronic tech touching the patient, you're fixing it. So you're not really hands-on patient anymore. But on the outside, it pays so well. So <clears throat> nuclear med tech, uh, nuclear medicine, Drug and alcohol counselor, this is new, brand new. So before uh, your SACO or your drug counselor at a command, you normally just pick an HM1 or a corpsman to do it, but now they're making it an actual specialty and there are currently 20 in the Navy. There are 20 of those in the Navy. So super unlikely that any of you watching this are gonna get that because it's pretty much only gonna be open up for like H1s and above most likely because you're in charge of the command's drug program. Surface Force IDC, this is when an IDC goes to a ship. FMF Recon Med Tech, uh, this is like the FMF Recon IDC except you haven't been through the IDC pipeline but they will send you. So if you go Recon, you're a Recon Med Tech and then they send you to IDC school. Prev Med Tech, you're dealing with STDs and spread of diseases. They deploy a lot. Chemo tech, which I'm pretty sure has to do with pathology. So you'll be like looking at skin under a microscope, kind of like med lab, but like more advanced. Orthopedic surge tech, surgery assistant. That's kind of like, you know how they have like dental assistants kind of that help out the dentist? It's kind of like that, but for a surgeon. Ultrasound tech and mammogram tech, obviously just more branches off of radiology. Also advanced x-ray. END tech, which I'm pretty sure has something to do with like CAT scans. Pretty sure. <laughs> Optician, these are the dudes that are gonna focus on optometry in your eyes. Um, honestly, you can get like certs to do this at your clinic anyway, so I wouldn't specialize in it, because then that might limit you on places you can be stationed. <clears throat> Physical therapy tech, uh, this is gonna be like sports medicine assistant, and then there's occupational therapy tech, which is more like useful stuff you're gonna be dealing with old people. Pharmacy tech, if you guys know Nikki, he was a pharmacy tech, uh, you count pills. Uh, <laughs> But now, now he's a, a kick-ass IDC. Um, surge tech, surgery, behavioral health tech, mostly just you know mental health, people are having breakdowns. Um, a lot of times you'll find newer uh, behavioral health techs be stationed at boot camp because that's where a lot of people are you know, weeding out um, who has problems. And then if not in the fleet, you're you know, talking to people who have like suicide issues, PTSD, things like that. Urology tech, self-explanatory urology, you're gonna be assisting the urology doctor. Probably gonna deal with lots of pee. Gastroom tech, 
This is where I was saying some of them are just self-explanatory. You'll be setting casts for breaks and stuff. One of the dudes in my course school actually got this, so it's super uncommon. Let's see how many of them are in the Navy. There's only 130 of them in the Navy. Mind you, there's 25,675 corpsmen in the Navy. By the way, we're the largest uh, group of people in the Navy. <clears throat> dive med tech, this means you were a corpsman and then you went to dive school and became a Navy diver and now you're a dive med tech. And then uh, dive med IDC, core school, Navy diver, IDC. In that, in that, in that way. And then you're an IDC for special warfare. Um, mortician, this one you do have to come in with a degree already. So uh, this isn't going to be open to you unless you have a degree. You do auto uh, get E5. If you guys don't know what a mortician is, uh, they're the dudes who like prep bodies and handle the dead bodies. Histo tech, also looking at things under a microscope. Med lab tech, a lot of the times you're just going to be drawing blood, but you do... Um, You'll, you'll run titers on people for the most part. Uh, so like, say if someone's immune to something, how, le how high a level is in their blood, you'll be the person drawing the blood and then you might be the person running tests on it, but majority of the time you send it off to a higher echelon of care for them to make that diagnosis. So like, kind of like phlebotomist, but with a lot more training and on the outside, they make good money. Respiratory therapy tech, these are the people incubating people in the hospital. Um, you know, giving airways, making sure people can breathe. Also is an up and coming job. You guys, some of these are really good. Like X-ray, X-ray is super good. It's highly overmanned because everyone in med lab, all these pay really well on the outside. Dental assistant. Um, a lot of people get screwed right off the bat by signing Corman in, in their contract as dental assistant, but you can eventually drop it if you don't want dental assistant, but if you like it, I would highly recommend going dental hygienist, which is next, because those dudes get paid butt tons on the outside to clean teeth, which is what you'll be doing. You'll be cleaning people's teeth, but on the outside, butt tons of money. Uh, dental lab basic and dental lab advanced, and then dental oral max. Those are our last three. Um, I don't have knowledge on a lot of them. I'm assuming dental lab are the people who are gonna like form stuff to your teeth, make molds and stuff. Advanced is just more on that. And dental oral max kind of just sounds like we're sponsored by like, I don't know, some sort of Colgate commercial. Oh, do you want up? Do you want up for daddy? Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, bud. What type of corpsman would you be? Mwah, a fluffy one. But if you guys want to see your job posted next, go ahead, comment down below, and I'll see you.